These red-eyed humanoids are, by the time of Half-Life Alex, the only true sentient Xenian organisms that may be encountered. Their skin is greenish-brown in color, and they follow an odd, hunched-back body structure, with their necks pointing downwards from the top of their torsos. Their arms are slim and possess three digits at each end, which appear to be claws. Notably, in Half-Life 2, Vortigaunts are portrayed with two long claws per arm, while in Half-Life Alex, they are shown to have three short claws. The center of their torso holds a small, third arm, which is assumed to be used for feeding. On their heads, they have four bright red eyes, four tube-like ears, and downwards-facing mouths with small, sharp teeth. They have digitigrade legs, similar to many Earth mammals and the elites in Halo. Their feet are composed of three small, hoof-like structures at the end of each leg. This is another difference from Half-Life 2, where Vortigaunts are portrayed as having one large hoof at the end of each leg. As for the explanation behind these differences, I really don't know for sure. Although Valve is known to have changed art styles between the Half-Life games, if I were to really assume an explanation, I would of course have to say that these Vortigaunts are simply different variations from those seen in Half-Life 1 and 2.